kick things off here over in London, Baltimore Ravens, Tennessee Titans. Now this one, I did put in the account at a different number. Currently sitting four, four and a half in favor of the Ravens. 42 is your total. This was three minus 120. So it was an expensive three. I put the expensive three in the account on the Ravens. We don't have to go over what a complete and utter shit show that Ravens game was last week and how they managed to drop eight balls officially. Nine if you count when Zay Flowers just fell over with the turf monster when he was 40 yards down the field. And then, of course, all of the craziness that went on, including the pick in the end zone, where they still could have covered the number had they just kicked the field goal instead. But um, look, it was a good it was a good spot, I feel like, for this Ravens squad kind of getting the negative sentiment on them. And then, Adam, look, this Tennessee team, the secondary was already pretty easy to throw on. And now you get the front four, which the, the big thing about the Titans, like, hey, look, you can't run on them. You, know, you can't run on them. They're banged up on the defensive line now, too. And so you get a Ravens team that I think is going to have a little bit of success on the offensive side of the ball here. They're much healthier than they have been over the last couple of weeks as well. For us, you know, that was one of the reasons we were betting against them was because of the injury report. And uh, much better for them, much worse for the Titans. So I, I think a field goal pretty fair I think the number at four right now I would still either play the Ravens or pass I I think it's Ravens or pass for me in this one so this is one of those interesting spots where we have one big difference that has been very clearly reported about how these two teams have treated the week now what do you think about this Uh, it's up to you to make that decision but Baltimore went directly over to London after its game last weekend and Tennessee has basically waited until now Uh, to go there and apparently according to what we've read John Harbaugh was kind of obsessed with getting the travel correct and making sure the rest was correct and making sure his team was ready to go and if I had a team that has had the injury issues of the Ravens I probably would be trying to maximize anything I could in terms of sports performance as well now I like Matt's angle and I think the idea of let's fade the negative sentiment on the Ravens because of what happened last week and because of so much fluky stuff that went on in that game, it makes perfect sense. On the other side of this with the Tennessee Titans, I don't really know what it is that we can say this team is particularly good at. Um, I think we can probably, if you want to get lost in this handicap a little bit, you could go into the idea of Tennessee as a pass funnel. But as you just said, Matt, Jeffrey Simmons, although he's trending the right direction, uh, is still banged up on the defensive line for the Tennessee Titans. I see Matt's angle. I like Matt's angle. I don't have it uh, bet, but I also uh, am with you that it would probably be Ravens or pass. Yeah, we look, Stephen, uh, Danico Autry also questionable in, in this one. He did get in a, a limited practice yesterday, so he's likely to go as well. But these are guys that are playing less than 100%. And we know if 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 that team, no Traylon Burks already out, ruled out for them, didn't even make the uh, trip. Tire Tart on the defensive line as well. Defensive tackle already ruled out, didn't make the trip over there too. And so if you look, I just don't know what you love about Tennessee. It's like it's subpar quarterback play. I think we're finally starting to see the the downward trend for Derrick Henry. Finally, I know he kind of bucked the tr- the, the system there for the, the last couple of years, but I just don't know what you really grasp onto other than the fact that, hey, you can't run on them, so you at least know what the defense, you at least know what the offense is going to do against them. But I don't think that's the case here because of the injuries on the defensive line. I actually thought the Titans offensively played pretty well last week compared to what we've seen from them, and they still only scored 16 points. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, the bad secondary showed up and gave up seven yards per play to a combination of Anthony Richardson and Gardner Minshew. So this offense almost has to play perfect to win games with how bad the pass funnel defense is on that side. And for Baltimore, I'm glad you highlighted the travel difference here with London. I think that's important. I also think it's important just to overall note how unlucky the Ravens have been in these two losses. Matt, you diagrammed nicely the fourth quarter and overall drop issues against the Steelers. To put a number on it, the Ravens still outgained the Steelers by .6 yards for play in that game, which is pretty solid. And in the loss to the Colts, outgained Indianapolis by 1.2 yards per play. So honestly, two very unlucky losses for the Ravens on their schedule so far here. So... Um, with that, 
in mind. I'm not sure I can get there at the current number at four. I, I agree with you, Matt, that it's Ravens or pass. Um, I sat there and looked at the expensive three middle of the week and thought, well, there's been movement on the on the on the Titans so far. Let's see if we just get down to the the normal juice here on the three, and it didn't, and it shot right back up to three and a half. So I missed that number, but I'm still very interested in playing the Ravens this week. So like last week, I'm getting creative. I don't want to bet them to basically have to win by a touchdown here or more to win this game or to win that bet. So I went Ravens money line parlayed with Eagles money line against the Jets. When I bet it, it was around minus 105. Uh, but that's kind of the strategy I'm looking at here because I do think that there's a very strong likelihood that some positive regression is coming for the Ravens and they win this game.